Okay, so in this video we're going to look at calculations with mass percent. Uh, mass percent is a way to look at concentrations of solutions. And we're going to do three practice problems. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, mass percent. So mass percent is one way that we look at uh, the concentration of a solution, which means you know how much solute is actually dissolved in the solvent. Um, and it's a really easy one. Uh, mass percent is the mass of your solute divided by the total mass times 100, because it's a percent, right? So you multiply by 100 when it's a percent, okay? Uh, the total mass part is really the only thing that gets screwed up in these problems, okay? So just be aware that total mass means mass of solute plus mass of solvent, okay? You need both of them in your total. And let me just do an example, okay? So here's like the easiest possible type of example, all right? Calculate the mass percent of a solution with 5 grams of sodium chloride in 95 grams of water, okay? Number one mistake that will happen is someone will be like, oh good, 5.0 grams of sodium chloride in... 95 grams of water and then they'll be like yeah I'm multiplying by 100 and I get an answer and you're wrong okay um, hopefully we see right this is not the total mass okay your total mass is 5 plus 95 your solute plus your solvent so it's like the easiest <laughs> type of problem ever right 95.0 grams of your water plus the five grams of NaCl, okay? This is what your total mass is, which is really just five grams divided by 100 grams. And that's gonna be 100 grams of solution, right? Times 100, because it's a per percent, so five divided by 100 times 100, oof, you're gonna get 5% NaCl, and you can say either by mass, or sometimes they'll kind of write it like, uh, they'll say like 5% NaCl, and then they'll go MM. So you might see notation like that word. The, they'll say like M slash M, just means mass per mass, mass percent. All right, so that's easy. That was example number one. Here's example number two, okay? longer. Ooh, scary. All right. If you have 233 grams of sodium chloride and it was evaporated, so you had a solution, you put it over heat and you evaporated it, you're going to get the salt out at the end. So you get 28.4 grams of the salt collected. What's the mass percent and how much water was boiled off? Not hard at all. Okay. You know that mass percent is the mass of your solute divided by your total mass. So we just need to figure out what the mass of my solute was. Well, look at that. It tells me right here. I get 28.4 grams of NaCl that didn't evaporate. That means that's how much salt was actually in the solution out of my total uh, solution, right? So what was the total solution I had? Well, my total solution was 233 grams, okay? times 100 equals a number that I've hopefully already solved for you. Oh good, 12.18%. Okay, so it'd be 12.18% by mass. Um, that's it, all right? So that's one part, and then the next question is how much water was boiled off? Some simple subtraction, okay? So 233 grams of your solution. Subtract out the 28.4 grams of NaCl you had. Leaves you with 204.6 grams of water that boiled away, okay? So your solution was made up of 28.4 grams of salt and 204.6 grams of water. Excited, all right hardest type of mass percent 
ish problems, okay, will be something like this, okay? So how many grams of water in a 700 gram, 7% 7 by mass sugar solution? Okay, so how many grams are actually of water in this thing and how many grams are sugar of this thing? So you kind of work backwards because they gave you the mass percent to begin with, all right? Which is fine, you just set it up. So 700 is your total mass and it tells you that right and you're trying to figure out now how much out of that total is your um, solute and your solvent so some amount of grams of your solute divided by your 700 grams total times a hundred is going to equal your seven percent Okay, so you can either just, you know, if math isn't your thing, you just plug your numbers in your calculator, that's cool, or you could see that the 700 is going to cancel out, so you get x divided by 7 is going to equal 7. So you can multiply both sides by 7, okay, so that will cancel, and you'll get x equals 7 times 7 would be 49. And this was really grams, right? Because there's grams on the sides of grams. So 49 grams. Okay, so this is the mass of your solute. Okay, and then, so this is this would be the mass of your sugar. It's a sugar solution, right? So here we go, 49 grams is sugar. And then it says how many grams was actually water, right? So you just take 700 subtract your 49 that's sugar and you get 651 grams of water not too bad okay mass percent good luck